Hi guys and welcome back to Jojo's Corners, La Esquina de Jojo. If you're new to my channel, hello, how are you? If you are not new to my channel and have already subscribed, welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to talk about something different. Today, um, we're going to talk about some makeup. Yes, I got this a couple, um, like about two weeks ago. It's the new Zodiac um, Colourpop Press Pigment. It is a collab with Caitlyn Lights. The shades are just to die for. I absolutely love the packaging. It's like a light teal with gold. So cute, so cute. The only thing that I don't like is this little paper moving around. But other than that, it has really, really, really colors, pretty colors, like this blue, this blue right here. Okay, now wait to try that. This is actually orangey, so amazing. I haven't even opened this yet. I got it like about two weeks and I've been busy in here, there and everywhere, so. I wanted to see what it was all about, but I wanted to actually do like a little video and see how do I like it, what do I think of this. I want to swatch them too. I seen it that um, Colourpop have posted um, swatches, and these swatches look just amazing. So, but the swatches are on they're made on light skin. So I wanted to know how they would look on my caramel skin. <laughs> I just wanted to see if all the hype is actually worth it. I am definitely going to work with this. I actually never ever try um, loose press um, loose pigments, so I am very excited to really try this. So with that being said, let's open the packaging. So. It's very easy to open. I just had to remove the tape. And this is it. It's very pretty. I love the colors. Uh-oh, let's see. I absolutely love, 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 love the colors. I don't know if you can see. I love these colors. I should have my favorite colors. I love all shades of blue so yeah it comes with this little book it got the ram it have the bull it has the twins it has the crab like every single page is about one of the zodiac symbol the lion and it goes on and on and on and the very last one is the fish Let's see. I'm gonna take one of the little things out. Oh, they're so cute. Look at this. This is so cute. This one is the bull. It has a name in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see what's oh it's easy to open. Okay. There's nothing here. Let's put this over here and there is like a little cap to protect it okay okay it's very powdery all right well let me find myself a brush or a couple of brushes so we can swatch this dry and also we're going to swatch them wet just to see if it looks as good as it looks in everybody else's arm so I got my setting spray got my brush and let's do this. So the first shade I got is the bull. I'm going to open it. I'm going to pour a little bit on the cap. Oh, I don't know. If it, I don't think that would be a good idea. I'm just going to dip it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is with the same brush, I'm going to spray it. Oh, 
Oh, wow. What do you think? Dry with setting spray. Ooh, I absolutely love this. So shimmery both ways. But I believe the setting spray give you like a more dimensional look. I like it. I'm all for it. The next that we're going to try is the crab. I like this. It looks like kind of bluish, but once you put it in the lighting, it's like one of those tones that is not blue, is not purple, is not white, just like this one is the crab. It sticks a lot in the brush. Once you dip it in there, it's like, whoa, whoa. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of like a purplish chrome, like a purple chrome, I'll say. I thought it was blue, but it's not blue, it's purple. Blue. Wet my brush. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this color. Wow, it's amazing. Just the loose pigment in self, itself with finishing spray or setting spray. That's a big, big difference. I really, really like this color. It's very, very pretty. This is the crab. Let's pick another one. Let's see what else we got. So the next one that we're going to swatch is the ram. This one has like a cute orangey color. Personally, I'm not an orange type of person, but you never know what you're gonna get. So here we are. Oh, this color still amazes me. All right, so let's try this. I don't know if my lighting is not the best, but it's like an orange with chrome in it. It's like an orangey chrome. I don't know how to explain it. You can see orange, you can see yellow, you can see, I don't know, kind of reddish. It's very, very, from here, I see it yellow. From here, it's red. But when I turn all the way around, it's orange. So now let's get this brush wet I really really like how they look when you use the setting spray it's like so creamy super creamy and it goes from being like this to being like that it's the same thing with this one this one I try to wipe it off but yeah, then it work. So this one is the Ram. Another one that I've been try dying to try is the Water Beaver. Look how pretty is that blue. Oh, if you know me and you've been following me, I love all shades of blue. From aqua teal, turquoise, all the way until midnight blue. <laughs> blue, blue purple, whatever has blue, I love. But this color right here is the Water Beaver. It's such a pretty blue, and I've been dying to try this. No. I absolutely love this blue. Look how shimmery they are when they're wet. Now let's try with the setting spray. <gasps> Look at that blue! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that! It goes 
from this to that. It's like you get two eyeshadows in one. Isn't this amazing? This one is more like a, it's, you can see like a little bit of shimmery, like a purplish shimmery, but it looks more matte than what these two are. Oh, I really, 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 really like that. The next, next one is the Twins. It has like a little bit of, I don't know if this is like a rose gold or like a, Huh. It looks like a rose gold to me, but again, don't mind me. I am blind and I do wear glasses. But let's try this. Let me grab a brush. I'm running out of brushes, okay? So please don't judge me. But let's open this baby. See it right here? These are the twins. This is dry. Now let's see. How does it look wet? Okay, so there you have it. The twins. Dry, wet. It's like a I don't know, it's like a rose gold, but it looks gold, like brown. I don't know. When you're doing like this, it kind of resembles like a rose gold. But then when you're doing like this, it's like a dark gold brownish. You see it like that? It looks kind of ro rose gold. But then, I don't know. I am going to go outside. And kind of look like a small video just like going through it see how they look on the sunlight because over here we have the camera yes we got a little bit of sunlight but it is not the same the next shade that we have is the lion and this is definitely a gold this is a gold color I don't know if you can tell this lining but it's gold. All right, but let's grab a brush. Nice. I'm running out of brushes. And let's open this baby. Very, very pretty. And I'm not a gold type of girl. I'm a silver kind of girl. You see now let's wet let's wet this baby look this is wet this is dry But that blue though and this one oh my gosh so amazing and you see it wet versus dry you can hardly see this in my arm but you can definitely see this one I don't know how that will look with my complexion I mean you can still see it pretty good but I this chair sorry guys I just got a brand new chair so it's moving on around this in my eyes as a pop-up I think it will look wonderful so this next one is the maiden it is like a, i don't think i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the name it seems like a really pretty white are you ready for this are you ready for this let's do this so the, is what is actually dry let's do it over here So pretty. It's like a whitish, but again, it has that chrome feeling where it depended from where you're looking at. You can see like a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. I like it. Now let's get this baby wet. Let's get this baby wet.
my stomach. Oh, there you go. It's, it is now wet. It looks a little bit silver, but it's not silver. I promise you it's white. It's white. I don't know why it looks silver when it's wet. Maybe it is supposed to be silver. But uh, that one, this one, this one by far. Oh, this one, my favorite. Moving on to this shade. Now this is rose gold. <laughs> uh, this is rose gold. This is the shade The Scales. It's a very, very nice rose gold. Now let's see if it's swatch actually rose gold. So like the other one that I thought it was rose gold ended up being a like a dark like brown so let's see so my brush is completely dry as you see right here it's not the best lighting but I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna shoot a small video of my arm and then I'm gonna post it up now Let's get the brush wet. But look how beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. This, I don't know, I don't really like it like this. I like better with the wet brush. I think the pink, it just look amazing. Look at all those pretty colors. Wow, got some beautiful color. Beautiful, 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 beautiful colors. So the next stage we have here is the Scorpion. It looks like a, kind of like a burgundy, again, chrome here it is and let's do this oh it's like a burgundy burgundy let's see again it has the, the chrome tone to it chrome look now let's see how it looks when we wet the brush it's dry I mean it does get a whole lot darker but you see the chrome to it if you go like this it look kind of purplish but I promise you it's not purple Cannot wait to go shit outside. Go shit. Small little video outside so you can see. They all have that chrome to it. Some more than others. So next we have the Archer. This one is purple. It has that purpley look. But again. It might look purple, but you never know what's gonna look when you swatch it. Oh, it is purple. Look at this. It has that chrome to it that it makes you feel like it is purple, but once you move around, it has to give you like this that blue look. I don't know. I really like them. As you can see, it is purple. Now, setting spray. Wow, now that is a big difference. It's the same as the blue, same as this one. It's a big difference, but I like how it looks. This chrome feeling, it's like you're looking at different things at the same time, different colors at the same time, which is 
what I like the most. So we, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe we're missing two more shades. Two more shades. The next shade is the goat. Oh yes. Again, that chrome. It looks very pretty. Very pretty. Let me grab. Running out of brushes, guys. It's like a nice brown, so shimmery. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm thinking about it, I have somewhere to be on Sunday. I had a birthday party to go to. And I'm really, really thinking of doing some makeup with the shades. The shade just, it's like you have two shades in one. I absolutely love this. And I wonder if this shade, this shade, and this can be used, there, used as a highlighter. Mm, I should try that. What do you think? So last but not least, we have the fish. This one is like a light, um, again, chrome, a light green, I believe, but let's open it because obviously I don't know my colors. What I see, I thought it was a rose gold, ended up being brown. But yes, it's definitely like, like a teal. I'll say like a teal. Kind of like the packaging color, which I'm not bad about. Okay. Let's do this. It's almost the same color as the packaging, which is like a teal. Now let's wet this baby. Let's wet this baby. So there you have it. So there you have it. This is how it all look in my skin color. I love, love, love them. There you have it. What do you think? I know, um, Buying it, the set is, I know buying the set could be a little pricey. So I don't know, maybe if you like any shades, in particular shades, you're better off buying just, you know, the shades that you like. Now, if you are buying all the shades, I'll definitely recommend you to buy the entire case. Why? Because it is cheaper that way. Um, I believe each um, loose pigment, it is $6 at colourpop.com and Meanwhile, um, the whole set, I believe, it retail for $70, $70, $60, in between there. I will leave the price right here just to make sure you guys got it. I do know that each loose pigment retails for $6 each at ColourPop.com. Um, I, I, am not the person that like to go to the stores. I don't know. It just, I think, uh, mm, mm, mm. but I do like to do my shopping online, which that's what I got. Like I said, I got it two weeks ago, right when it came out, actually it was a little bit over two weeks, but I got it right when it came out because I was so excited about it. I just haven't had time to do the swatch, but, but, but I am so glad I did this. Why? Because the shades are just amazing. I just to die for. 
this right here oh my lord this i really 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 on sunday i really need to wear something this color and i really need to try this shade i, put, I need to try it in my eyes to have to see how they look and nothing i think i am going to go outside take a small little video and see how they look and the sunlight just for the hell of it just because i want to see how they look on the sunlight i am so excited about this and nothing i am going to shoot a video aside and let's see what happens so this is how they look in the sunlight I still think they look absolutely amazing amazing and yes what do you think about that I think they look pretty amazing all right so I'm back I did I hope that you guys like that little clip that I did they look absolutely adorable in the sunlight um, and nothing I think this is it for this video um, hope that you like you guys like the video if you like it don't forget to, to give the video a thumbs up if you have any comments concern um, questions about these beautifuls don't forget to drop your comment down below and a suggestion about any videos that you guys want for me to do or you guys want to see me doing or any makeup look and nothing don't forget that if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, it will be on to the next one.